close to what you expect from your team in terms of good defensive hockey, not giving up a lot of chances? Uh, I think from a defensive standpoint, obviously when you don't give up a goal through regulation, you got to feel good about yourself and your goaltender you know, made some key stops at some situations. And uh, the frustrating part for us is we had a couple posts, we had a couple empty nets we missed, you know, and that's the difference in the hockey game. And my message to them was is that uh, as a coaching staff, we asked in, a in the last couple of days to help create an identity for this hockey club. And the things that we put on it that were on the list uh, they played to tonight, so that they they lost a point. They didn't lose the hockey game, and they won some confidence. And if they stay with the program, that that's the type of hockey we're going to have to play on a consistent basis to have success. Speaking of confidence, nice to see Jonas Gustafsson play as well as as he did. Well, again, you know, we said that we we're going to go with the goalie that gives us the best chance to win, and you know, he pitched a shutout, so we can't. Uh, ignore the fact that he, he was pretty outstanding for us in the hockey game. I'm not sure if anyone addressed this already, but that, that's the top scoring team in the NHL, as you pointed out. Do you feel the approach that they're taking your team on the ice is the correct approach, knowing you can effectively shut them out for 65 minutes? Well, you feel good about the, the, the point that you, you didn't give anything up. We don't feel great because we lost a point in the hockey game. And we had our fair share chances. As I stated earlier, we, we hit a couple posts. We had some wide open nets. And you feel that you know, eventually this is going to turn in their favor if we continue to play with that mindset of we're not going to just be a rush hockey club. We have to create offensive zone time and get a cycle game going every once in a while and move off the cycle. And just because you know, we're not a big, overly large team doesn't mean you, you can't do that. You can do it because you have skill and you have speed and you move off of the puck and people can't control you anymore. And that's really what we're trying to sell our group. And I think tonight we didn't turn the puck over nearly a, a, a fraction of what we've done in the previous games. Do you run the risk of losing that speed though if you do clog up the neutral zone and take away maybe some of the strengths or is that just going to come over time? I don't see how you could say we're going to lose our speed because you transition the puck then, because you're going to get more pucks back. And I'll tell you one thing, it's a lot more fun playing the offensive zone than it is in the defensive zone. You can ask any player. Carter Ashton saw his time in the last minute of regulation there. What uh, have you seen from him in the couple NHL season? Safe, big guy, can skate, understands his role, held on to the puck in the offensive zone. You know, all those things are things that are a bright, you know, they're a highlight for the kid in playing in a second NHL game in his first home game. But he has to continue to grow into that. And that's that's the reality of any young player cutting his teeth in the NHL. What did you think of the Roboski line? I think they had three posts at least. Well, I wish they would have scored one. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only thing I can say because, you know, when you don't get a goal it's 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 difficult to win and you know, in the shootout we didn't uh, we didn't find a way. We hit a post in the shootout, you know, it's just the way the game went for us. Have you seen that move uh Pavel Datsuk in the shootout from Giroud? I saw the move from uh, Datsuk on the left side. Uh, obviously, I haven't saw Giroud, but we know he's a pretty skilled player. And you, know, you can uh, reason with Philadelphia when they move the quality of player and Jeff Carter and Mike Richards to make room for Claude Giroud. Was there much debate, Randy, as to who you were going to go with in, in the shootout, or did you know heading in? Oh, I, we made the list in between the second and third period. so. Just checked the, basically I checked the stats on who had went and who had had some success, and those were the top three guys that have had success and shot the most for our hockey club. I usually like to have some kind of showdown at practice and then send those guys just every once in a while. But in the situation you're in, I think you go to those those players that have done it and have delivered for you.